just to put our discussion in perspective, let's look at a traditional structure of an operating system. In the traditional structure of the operating system, there's something called a page cache, which is in DRAM. And this page cache is supporting both the file system and the virtual memory subsystem. And the file system has opened files explicitly from the storage, and they live in uh, the page cache, that is in the physical memory. And similarly, processes are executing in uh, virtual memory, and the virtual memory of every process has to be backed by physical memory. Therefore, the page cache in DRAM contains the contents of the virtual pages. And of course, all these virtual pages are in the storage subsystem. So let's, for the purposes of our discussion, we will focus only on the virtual memory subsystem. And in the virtual memory subsystem, the data structures that are kept per process in a traditional structure is there is a PCB, there is a process context block, or process control block, that contains information specific to that particular process in terms of, you know, in terms of memory management, the memory footprint of that process, and a page table that describes the mapping between the virtual pages that is occupied by the process and the physical memory that has been allocated in the DRAM by the operating system for backing the virtual pages of that process. And if the operating system is also managing the TLB in software, then there may be a global data structure that describes the current occupancy of the TLB for that particular process. So these are the things that it has per process. And of course, all the virtual pages for that process are resident on the storage subsystem so that if there is a page fault, the missing virtual page can be brought from the storage subsystem into the page cache for future access by the process. So this is your traditional structure. And what we want to do is, for scalability, we want to eliminate as much of the centralized data structures as possible. That's the key thing that we're going to look at, how we can do that so that the operating system service will be scalable 